up. Wow, you guys, so grateful and honored to be with you guys tonight on a Sunday. I know we have the Sunday night family call coming up just after this, but um, we have people from all over. I see Michigan, North Carolina, Georgia, Texas, Washington. Super excited to see all you guys. For those of you who may not know, my name is Amber Parker and I'm your field liaison and also an ambassador diamond with the company. And so we wanted to come on tonight and do a Zoom with you guys, um, making sure I'm trying to keep everyone muted, um, do a Zoom with you guys tonight so, so we can focus on, on building relationships and building through social media and what that needs to look like. And although I know you guys were so, so, so excited to have Caroline um, with us tonight, she is unfortunately sick and couldn't make it on, but I did not want to miss out on the Zoom and being able to connect with you guys. So I am eagerly just as excited, I gotta get comfy in my chair real quick, um, eagerly just as excited to have tonight with me and you guys, um, Ambassador Diamond and someone that for me is just so, a, a great, great, great friend. And um, she is also an ambassador and been in the company for a very, very, very long time. And so she knows the ins and the outs and the ups and the downs that we go through. Whether you're new or whether you're, um, you've are you been in a few years, there's definitely ups and downs with the business. And building those friendships is crucial. And so um, we're going to talk about how do we build relationships via social media. What do you do every single day on social media? And so I'm excited to welcome my dear friend, Genesis Void. I don't know that you can unmute yourself, but I'm going to try and find you real quick on here so I can unmute you. And we're going to get started, you guys. And so she's going to share with us tonight. Um, oops. Oh, darn it. Genesis, can you unmute yourself? There we go. I got him. Well, hey guys, thank you for having me on. I'm so excited. So it's really funny that you messaged me. Can you hear me? Yes, go for okay. it. I'm just trying to mute everyone else so I don't mute you again. Okay, I'll watch out for it. But okay. I was really excited when you asked me this because it's really funny. The other day I wrote everything that brings me joy in this business. And I would say the number one thing on that list is the friends that I've developed and the loving on people and just making others days happy because we all have a battle, right? We all have struggles, we're all human, and I really enjoy making people feel good about themselves because it turns around and makes me feel good about myself. And it's funny to think that we've created a million dollar business through a free platform such as Facebook. And I was that girl that um, actually joined Facebook just because I ran an in-home childcare. So eight and a half years ago, I signed up to be a distributor after trying a rap at a rap party. and. I ran an in-home child care. I had a business degree um, and I loved what I did, but there was something missing. And what was missing is I was hanging out with kids all day and I was going crazy and I lost myself. I gained a ton of weight because I was eating snacks every three hours ish. And I just needed some mommy friends and I needed to get out of the house. And that's why I went to that first rap party. So it's really awesome that um, that choice brought me here working on my bed with you, Amber. And that's so crazy. Okay, I'm gonna mute everyone real quick and I'm gonna have you unmute yourself as well. Um, or no, you're a co-host, you're right on top. I moved you up. Okay, good, this is great. So um, tell us a little bit, obviously we, you've been in the business for years, right alongside myself. And you know, you joined from, from that wrap party, from doing that wrap party, from the wraps our flagship product. And so we, I want to say that there's like the new day and then there's back in the day and we're kind of merging the two right now because, and this is kind of for everyone that's on here. I want to know in the chat, do you guys prefer, and this is exciting. Do you guys prefer, okay, building solely on social media or solely face to face? And I, I just want to get a kind of feel for who, you know, who, where you guys like to build because I think although we love, um, I love doing both. I feel like we absolutely need social media in order to get in front of people. Not necessarily a must or a have to, but it's definitely a, an increase. And so I want to know, Genesis, how do you um, build relationships on social media to get them to come to an event or a party or a sip and sample or a try it? Like, what do you do on the day-to-day -day basis as far as your posts? What do those look like? 
in order to be eye-catching, in order to pull people from social media to face-to-face? -face? What are some tips that you have? So I learned really fast in the beginning that um, just posting solely about my business, I was going to get a lot of unfollowers. Um, I just could tell from the posts of my children versus my business post. Um, so I decided really early on to make, um, I have reminders in my phone to remind me to think about what I would want to see. So on Monday morning, when I was opening my childcare, the last thing that I would want to see is something that made me feel maybe insecure or unhappy. So I try really hard to post more uplifting, maybe about coffee. And obviously that's shifted over the years, like Amber was saying. But I try to do things more relevant to my life because I enjoy searching those photos and those memes and those quotes for myself because that's personal development for me and it makes me feel good and sets my tone of the day. Um, and then I'm really try to post something that might catch my eye. And when I look back on this day, it's so funny because I look back, you know, what is it called now? It's not on this day, but it's memories. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I posted that. But you know what, guys? I am a firm believer in nothing is wrong as long as you're posting and you're putting yourself out there. You are not going to be, no one is going to be the best marketer, you know, when they start. And so you're better off posting than not posting at all. So you got to figure out what you enjoy. What do you truly love? You need to be genuine to yourself um, because your friends and family are going to know if that's the real you. Um, you don't want to get unfollowed. So when you are posting, think about how would this make me feel if I seen it? Um, and I'm guilty of times, you know, because we're emotional and Facebook is one of those platforms where we tend to, it's more like a diary sometimes. Um, and I just remember that in my day to day. And there are times that I've made poor decisions, but I, there is a delete button for a reason, but I try to stay very positive, um, and not controversial. So I love that. So, so you guys, you know, one thing I love about social media is that I feel like if you're posting quality, you don't need quantity. I mean, and I'm sure Genesis, you would agree with that too. And like she's saying, when you wake up in the morning, something that I, I love to do is I love to open my business. Just like you're saying, start with that coffee. What are you doing in the morning? You know, people want to follow you. That's what social media is about. They don't want to follow a business. They want to follow you. And so who are you? You know, if you don't drink coffee, don't post about coffee in the morning. Okay. <laughs> you know, um, but if, if you're running around and, and you've got backpacks everywhere cause you have 10 kids and they're nuts post about that, like be genuine, be you, but open your business in the morning. And something that I also love to do is like you were saying, we need to be positive. And so on, on Sundays is my prep day for the, for the week. And so I create, um, at least seven uh, powerful morning mantras or quotes that I can share if I, if I'm like brain fog in the morning to have content, right. But open, opening your doors every single morning on social media, which is awesome. So, um, and if you guys don't know, like you can use Google, there's like flip calendars, there's definitely different things that we can do to create that content, that, that morning mantra. Um, but again, making sure that it's positive and, and what's funny, you know, I've, I've had, and I'm sure Genesis, you've had this too, is I've had people say, well, no, like really, I'm not a morning person and I'm not very positive <laughs> and, um, it's a touche, right? I wasn't either. Um, but once you start like posting about what you want, oddly enough, it starts to come into your space. And so, um, your mornings become a little bit more positive when you can start talking positive. And so again, talking about how she uses coffee in the morning, you guys, I love our keto. If you love our keto coffee, drop it in the chat. I want to know, drop a one in the, in the chat. If you love the keto coffee, um, I, I won't go a day without it. It's kind of fun and awesome, but again, creating that content. Now, every morning, you don't want the same daunting post, right? And so as you're posting about Coffee Genesis, how do you build that relationship with the people that are liking or commenting or engaging in your posts every day? What's something that you do as people are uh, showing you love on your posts? What, what is something that you do for that? I am instantly adding them to my list. So I have a book that we created from the hundreds list. You guys have gotten them. That's all on the back office. You can print them off or you can just use a you know pad and paper. And I'm constantly writing down who's liking, who's interacting, who's commenting. If they're not commenting, I'm also watching my feed.
feed because if it's someone that's all of a sudden showing up in my feed, I'm assuming that they're secretly watching. They just aren't somebody that is a liker, a commenter. And that's a lot of people in the Facebook world. I've watched friends that are even over family and they're scrolling and they're not likers. I am an I sometimes like I wish that I could easily like in love because I like to love. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it's better than like. So um, I am constantly doing that. And then I'm able to start to love on them and their personal posts because it's not just about our wall. So I don't know how long ago. I feel like I don't even remember who it was, but someone said, and it really moved me. They said the first thing they do when they get on social media is they go love on other people before they will even post. And that really hit me because I felt like I don't want to be that person that's really selfish on social media. It's all about me because that's not what built my business. It was talking to other people, talking about how their kids were, talking about what they're doing in life, real relationships. So like when I'm doing that, I'm also very, really, really um, have my mind right in knowing what they would want me to say to them, even in an inbox. So like I... Do not message anyone, something I wouldn't want to get messaged. So people ask me, and I, and this is a hard answer for me with like scripts. That's, I'm a struggle scripter. I will do it because I know I have to evolve in my business and it is very successful for so many people. However, it has been hard for me because I view every single conversation so different. And so I really think about that personality, who it is. I'm not going to talk to my husband's best friend like I would a girlfriend I haven't talked to in 10 years, right? So when we come into an inbox, how do you want to be talked to? I know I don't want a salesy script. I literally, it is, I'm going to log out of it so fast. Like I'm, I don't even think about it. I don't research it. It's because there's no love and caring in it and it's not genuine to me. And so that is um, something really important. But yeah, I, I know you're going to go back to that, Amber, but I start by making sure that I am loving and liking and commenting on people before I post. You know what? And I, I love that so much because when we started this business, you guys, and I'll share this with you guys. I know we have anywhere from distributors to ambassadors to black diamonds on here right now. And I remember hearing when I first started, your team will do half of what you do. And I feel the same way about your network. Okay. They will see half of your post. They will see half of your real genuine love. So do it a little bit more, be more genuine, be more generous, be more, um, engaging, more authentic. And, 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 and you should, we get to use social media, but don't forget that we have customers on social media. Don't forget that our, our customers are shopping right now as they scroll your profile, your resume, and if, if you aren't returning the favor double time, chances are they're going to be the ones that aren't liking and commenting on your stuff. And so um, this is something too that I know we've gotten a question about is my posts don't get a lot of interaction. You know, my post, I make a post and I don't get um, any likes or comments. What am I doing wrong? And, and, and I, I'll, I'll add my spin on this and then I want to take yours too, Genesis. So, um, but you guys, one thing is, is Facebook, uh, they, it's like a, a check and a check, a check and a check. And so if you are going on Facebook and just posting and then being done, do you think that Facebook is going to see you as a high quality, you know, user or no? And, and they watch and, and not even watch because they're not watching us literally with their eyes, but they, they kind of see that, okay, she doesn't engage much herself. So we don't need to necessarily, you know, engage a lot with them. And so I have found and that's not like a hundred percent true. Like, Oh, I have to spend all day engaging now. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying you guys is, is when you get on social media, if you have to scroll past it, it takes you a, a millisecond to like it or to comment on it. And I think that that really will help uh, your market want to return the favor. You know, what do you think Genesis? Oh, I absolutely agree because, and it's also going to make people feel cared about and not just sold to when you do message them and not say, and I don't want anyone to feel like messaging is it okay because it absolutely is. Like Amber was saying, not everyone sees your posts. Um, you know, I would have loved to try this product two years before it was introduced to me. So you just never know, but you can't just come in. I feel like blind into a, an, into a, um, inbox. And that's also where you come in out of respect as to who they are. So if let's say you just added someone on Facebook, you start interacting, loving on them, they're doing it back to you. And then you message them. What if they're a distributor for something, another company? It is, you know, you don't know 
where they started, what, how they long they've been doing it. That's another very important part is knowing your audience, knowing the person that you're talking to, loving, commenting, um, and making it very real. So was that your question? That. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the next thing I want to kind of jump into you guys again is building that, that foundation. And somebody asked me this too, every single day. And I want, I want to hear from, from you too, as well. Um, they said, what is your, no matter what daily non-negotiable. And for me, that is adding my, to my pipeline. I have to, um, even if I'm sick, even if I'm in the worst mood of the world, even if regardless of my emotions, my mood, my feelings, my thoughts, I add people. Now, why? Because if I only have 200 friends today on social media and let, I mean, do the math. I don't really even do math, but if I have 200 friends and I only message, um, you know, let's say for math sake, 10 people a day in 20 days, you're already maxed out. That's even if you're messaging genuine, authentic messages, right? And, and we're going to give some examples of, of what to say and what not to send, um, for you guys as well to really build those relationships via social media. But in 20 days, you're going to be maxed out. You're not going to have any, anyone else to talk to via social media. And so this is why every day my goal is to add 20. So in those next 20 days, I have another 20 days and my pipeline is constantly filled with, with new potentials, with new people, new prospects. And you know what? Some of those actually are never going to be a prospect and never going to be a distributor. They're going to be the ones that are just my friend and they support me and they love me and that's okay too. And so, um, that's my daily non-negotiable. So I make, want to make sure that you guys all understand that every single day we can post all day long, but if we're not adding to that pipeline, you're eventually not going to have anything new. Right. And if I want to do this business long-term for the rest of my life, then I need a pipeline that's forever filled and forever going. So what's your daily non-negotiable? Well, I love that one. And that is so important, especially for those of you that have, don't have a huge friends list yet. So, you know, to just add on a little bit with Amber's, I remember going through um, and was like, okay, who did I go to college with? I wrote lists because it was so hard to think of people and I couldn't believe how many people were in my network when I really thought about it. I, would, I thought about all my Sigma sisters. I thought about people I worked at Applebee's with. I thought about people that I was in my business classes. Um, I would add daycares in the area, salons in the area, tanning salons in the area. I would like all these different pages so that other people that like those pages would see that. Um, but my number one in a leadership position, as you guys grow your teams and you are a leader as soon as you have one distributor. So don't discount yourself because you are showing someone the way, showing them the ropes, introducing them the opportunity. I am very, um, I try so hard and now that I'm much larger, it's different, but I try so hard to love on my newbies, especially that I personally enrolled and my leaders because we're also creating, creating algorithm enhancements for them and traction for them. And then, you know, it's just that camaraderie. And it's like that team, like you high five your teammate, you know, it's the same thing. I'm going to like my teammates thing, sideline, upline, downline team. So that's yeah. a big one for me. It oh. makes me feel good. Yeah. Well, and, 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 it, and it does too, you guys, there's a lot of people, but this is something that I, I would, I would not rec Well, I'm going to recommend that you not do it actually. <laughs> I'm going to recommend it, but I'm going to recommend that you guys not do it, that you add someone and immediately message them. Um, or you haven't added them and you message them. There's just people, we live in a people to people business, not a product to build business, if that makes sense. So I need to add people all the time and grow those relationships. Um, but also again, if, if they like my stuff, return the favor. That's what we've talked about. If they show interest, send a genuine message. Um, you know, and then, and then as they keep continuing on, you're going to have people in different areas, right? Um, right now I'm looking for people in Canada. I'm looking for, for people in, um, in Texas and Oklahoma. And so in my post, I'm also engaging in that. So you can kind of hit your targets and use your friends, uh, markets in those areas and be personal about that too. You know, I just made a post on Instagram. I'm getting ready to go to Canada and I'm like, I want a team there. And so I made a post who has friends in Canada and both of the polls were, yes, it says I can help. I do. And I'm going to message them and say, you know, Hey, Abby, I don't know if this is for you or not, or if you even know what I do, but I am looking for just one person in Canada that could potentially use money. Do you know anyone? You guys, it might be her. It might be her. 
But if you don't ask, the answer to the for sure no. But if you also are just like, hey, Abby, I need people in Canada to join my business. Do you want to do it? Like, not, not excited. They feel your energy and they're thinking like, yeah, okay, cool. No, I don't want to do your business. Right. So, um, be genuine, be authentic. And I found too, you guys, a voice memo goes a long way. They can feel your excitement. And I stuttered so bad when I first started this, it was horrible, but it was genuine. I, I, there wasn't a copy and paste for that. You know, there, it literally was just like, uh, yeah. So, um, cool. <laughs> like, sorry, I'm a little nervous, but I just wanted to ask. And they feel that they'd rather have that than like, Hey, I want you to join my team. Nobody wants to join your team. Okay. So, um, again, making sure that your pipeline is, is full every day that your posts match your, um, what you're going for and, and teeing up your posts every single day. So we've got a morning post an afternoon post. Again, usually if it's quality, you don't need quantity. Um, and then something else that I do, and I'm sure Genesis as well, you guys sharing where you're going. Okay, where you've been, I call this the past, the present, and the future. And, and I share this and, and making sure that at least one of your posts a day includes your past, your present, and your future. People will go places with those that are going somewhere. And so that could be a super short post, that could be a very long blog post, and that could be um, a picture, a before and after. You know, um, food stamps to paying cash, right? Putting $5 in the tank to full tank, something super simple like that. Um, also, so Genesis, let's talk a little bit about lifestyle posts. What is good for, um, for you? How do you take that, take people on the journey of, of growing their market and saying, you know, like a lot of these people actually real quick, you guys in the chat, will you guys drop what rank you are uh, current rank and where you're going, just so we can kind of get a feel for this. Because again, from distributor just started today, there's brand new distributors on here to, you know, those of us who have been in the business for 10 plus years. Um, but how do you create that story for in relation to, to your network? Well, you know, at first I was just really more salesy and businessy. And I don't recommend that because you want people to realize that they can do this business in your everyday life. And so within my post, I'm also adding like, okay, I work from phone and I'm at, and then I'm doing my stories and I'm showing that I'm at a basketball tournament yet. I just posted a business post and now in my stories, I'm showing what's happening. This is, I'm just giving you an example. Yeah. Of my business again. And so, you know, I'm just kind of showing how I'm able to, be out and about everywhere working. Um, because I think sometimes people think that it, you know, it's a lot harder than what it really is. And let's all be honest, we're all busy and we work this business into the cracks of our life. And so I'm just really honest. I know some people have said to me, Jen, I don't have the, I don't go out to eat all the time. Like you, I don't go on trips. I don't have um, a nice car to show gas. And I'm like, who cares? There's right. people that don't have a nice car. I started without that. I didn't, I didn't, couldn't afford to go on trips. So you got to make it relevant to you and then grow with it. Um, I'm really, I love the stories option. And that's something that I've just recently really taken on. I, you know, I, I don't know why I was struggling with change, but it is really working for me. And the reason it is, and this is whatever platform you love, you can see who sees it. And so those secret followers, I mean, I remember the first time I started watching and I screenshot everybody that's um, seen it because it's hard to keep up. And I think I'm going to remember everything and I clearly don't. And then I add them to my hundreds list. Um, and then I start to love on them, but it's, it's amazing to see who's watching you that you would have never known. And you do that through stories. Um, and so I just really go with day to day what I'm doing every day. I'm very honest. If I'm having a rough day with the kids, I put it out there, you know, um, yeah. people like real. Yeah. I love that. So, and, and again, I think, I mean, we've all, we all started at the bottom and, and, and essentially I feel like that was really the top. Um, because we all started with the same $99 kit. Some of you guys got in for different kits, you know, but, but ultimately we all joined for, with the same, same business. Right. And I remember, um, this is a true story. I would do parties and my car was so busted that I would park around the corner and walk a block to these parties because here I'm as a distributor talking about, 
um, you know, how I'm, I'm headed towards a thousand dollars. I'm headed th towards a $10,000 bonus in 30 days. Like, and they're like, okay, but you drive a busted car. And I, I was like, yeah, I do, you know, but you know what you guys, I, it was, it was genuine. And I shared that I shared like how, uh, you know, I can't really even afford tires right now, but I can't wait in two weeks. And when I hit this goal, I'm getting X, Y, and Z. And so you don't have to wait until you're there to start talking about it. Um, definitely you can, um, Oh, I got somebody doing something, but you can, um, let me make sure it's back. But you guys can definitely um, focus on where you want to go and, and decide where you want to go and put that in. You know, um, you could use things like, um, you know, two weeks ago, I couldn't even afford diapers, but I just sold keto coffee or I just got a fast start and I can't wait until my fast starts the entire month, pay for my diapers, pay for my formula, you know, pay for my car payment. That was something that happened to me when I started. And so um, creating the past, the present, and the future, you guys, on your story, people will be able to relate to that. I know so many ambassadors who joined because somebody made a post about being able to pay for groceries, pay cash and groceries. Do you know how many people ache for that kind of freedom? Like that's a real genuine freedom. And so, um, like Genesis was saying, we all started, you know, basically not having a house, not having the cars. Um, and don't forget to use that as you guys grow into your business so as well. I remember talking about how I was going to pay cash for my pool, how I was going to pay cash for my car. Um, and then it happened. But if we don't talk about it, it's definitely not going to happen. And if you're scared to talk about it, talk about it a little bit more, um, you know, in making those goals. And so Genesis, what would you recommend for people who they're, they're in that position. They, they know they have this goal and they're really excited about it. You know, even I feel like any goal is a goal and it's a big goal, but some people might say it's a small goal to say, you know what? I just want to make a thousand dollars. How do I start my business today on social media? And what, what do I say? How do I put that out there without sounding, you know, greedy or, um, or, or, you know, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, where do I start? How do I begin my story from where I'm at today, starting this business? How do I cast that vision to make a little bit more? You know, I love people to just go out there and say they started a business because um, you're showing others when they look at your wall what they're going to offer. However, I also feel I, when I started, I started for free products. So I really think you, every single person's goal is different. And like Amber said, I think it's very important to put out what your personal goal is in your business because one, you might have people that do other businesses that will respect it more. For me, I just wanted free products. So when I started sharing that in the beginning, I had friends that were like, well, I want free products too. It wasn't necessarily that I was 100% sharing with them that I was, you know, I earned five ways and this is how you can do this and you, we can do parties because some people, you just have to start where they're at. And so that was so important for me in the beginning. I always shared that I wanted free products and I would always share that I understood tax write-offs and I would kind of leave it at that so that people were like, it would make them question and, and wonder what I was doing and like, well, how do I get free products? And so, you know, and then I would spin it into, well, you can become a distributor with me and you can get a hundred dollars with a shopping spree, or, you know, I would go the route of you can become a loyal customer with me and we can give you 10% back in free products. And so you have to figure out what it is that you want to share on your wall because we are all different. Some of you are going to be like, I just joined this incredible company and I am going to earn the $3,000 bonus and pay a chunk off of my student loans. And some of us, you know, it's funny because when I was presented with a dream board and my best friend, Triple Diamond Sarah Reed will totally agree. I didn't even know what a dream board was. How sad is that? But I didn't have the brain cell for it. Now I'm the biggest dreamer you'll ever meet. Like if someone's going against what I'm manifesting, I literally will make them voice it back to me and take it back. Like I'm that serious about it because of the personal development journey I've been on with it works. And so one, meet people where they're at. Do not post them to, or push them to post something they are not comfortable with because they aren't going to respond in their inbox to the people messaging them 
um, the way that they need to because it's not them, it's your post. And then really try to help in, um, them figure out what is it they want out of this business. Do they want free products? Do they want personal lifestyle change physically? Do they want to pay their student loans? Do they want the car like Amber was talking about? Whatever it may be. Um, but talk to your people about it. Don't give the same exact post like, join up join my team for $99 $20 whatever it is at the time because this is recorded and um, it's gonna change your life because that is in my opinion and maybe it is to others it's not as relatable to me because I wanted free products so doing those separate posts like Amber's talking about you're gonna hit somebody that really needs gas you're gonna hit someone that has a car maybe somebody that can't afford a babysitter to even have a date night like myself and my husband maybe somebody that just um, wants to feel better physically. So talk to your people. I think that's very, very important when they're first or yourself about how you want to market and who you want to talk to and the, um, what you know. I love that. I love, love, love that. So something that, that the, what I'm getting from what she's saying, you guys, is, is some questions you can ask yourself when you are posting on social media to definitely uh, build the relationships. And you guys, a lot of the relationship building doesn't mean I'm sitting at coffee with people every single day. A lot of it isn't, you know, um, oh, I'm texting them or messaging them or getting them on a phone call every single day. Like I, a lot of it is just the likes and the comments and the engaging, but we need to make sure that we ask these questions when we are posting about you know, the past, the present, and the future is, is it relevant? Is it relevant to where I'm going? Is it relevant to my goals, my dreams, and, and where, you know, where I'm casting that vision? Is it relevant? Is it reflective? What is it going to reflect on me? Is it disgusting? Is it positive? Is it negative? Like that's a reflection of who I am. And again, people join people. They don't join a business. And so people want to join you because of who you are as a person. So don't forget that you are a person, not just a business, not just an ad. Okay. Um, so is it, is it, what does it reflect? Okay. Um, is it relevant? And then is it relatable? So those are the three R's that I want you guys to ask when you go to make a post, right? Is it relevant to where I'm going? Or is it relevant to my business or my even not even business? Cause not every post should be business. Definitely not. But is it relevant in my life? Right? What is it going to reflect? What is it going to reflect about me? And then, um, is it relatable? Can any, and you might think like, no, it's not relatable. Everyone else has their lights turned on, but you guys, the day before I delivered my son, my lights were shut off. I bet a lot of people didn't know that. And I, I am guilty. I probably should share that more because there's a lot of people who are in those situations. And when I started with the negative bank account, the only thing I wanted was $100. That was it. And I was somebody who said I would never do the business. Genesis was someone who joined for free product, which is going to bring me right into where we're at in our business right now. Um, and I, I, one question that we've, we've gotten is what if people on social media, Okay. What if people on social media say that they don't want to do the business, but they want the kit? What do I do in that point? And this is my opinion. This is just my opinion. I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong, but look at two people that are ambassador diamonds right now that didn't think we were ever going to be ambassador diamonds. I swore on my life. I would never do a business like this. Nope. I just want to do wrap cash. That was it. Um, Genesis joined for free product. I didn't even get free product. So, um, you know, I, I really wasn't that person. And so as you guys are having these people come to you, especially right now with the promotion that's going on and, and everybody should, should definitely promote the, the promotion that we have right now. Um, and, and if someone comes to you and says, I just want the product, there's two ways you guys can take this is I'm not giving you a code to join on the promotion because you don't think you're not going to do the business. And those are gold to me, which yes, they are. Um, but you just never know. And I'm sure Genesis can, can have many stories of this as well. You guys, sometimes people say they're going to do the business and they don't do a thing. And then there's those people who say they're never going to do anything and they do awesome. And so it's not our job to decide who do we present this to? You know, we can scan their profile on, on social media and say, oh, I just don't know that she'd ever do the business. And she might be the one who's going to do the business. So don't discount people um, as they come to you and say, I just want the collagen and hair, skin and nails. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to do the business, but I just want that. In my opinion, you never know. And if we say no to them, we might be saying no to our next ambassador. Genesis, what is your thoughts on that? 
I 100% agree. And so I'm just going to give a little backstory on. So I went to the wrap party. They showed us the three ways to buy. I tried the wrap, seen results in the 45 minutes, mind blown, refused a picture. Don't ever let people don't take a picture. I had no clue I was going to sell this. I wanted to sign up that day, guys, but I was the girl who didn't have the money to sign up. So my credit card that I hid from Andy was hidden under my jeans in my closet. And it was more not, it wasn't like I was a person that was buying stuff on a credit card. It was, we ran a, I ran an in-home business. So it was for those things if we ever needed. And it was usually food because we were, you know, my, we were broke. And so I signed up a credit card that Andy didn't even know we had. We had $5 in the savings account because that's what you had to have. And it's funny because I signed up because I, my intuition clearly, but I wanted the free products. I understood the write-offs. I wanted the wrap rewards. No one told me at the party I could make hundred dollar bonuses on every person I had joined my team. So that was a game changer for us. One, because I had to prove Andy wrong when he did find out I was a distributor and I was buying at work shirts. And two, because that was such, that was like when we made one of the months I made $900 bonuses, I felt so rich. Like we could do anything. We could go on a date. I could buy Pampers instead of, you know, the non-brand. I mean, it's the little things, right? So I got a taste of those hundred dollar bonuses and that changed my entire thought process about this business. So from that day forward, I always offered the business first. That was the way that I started out. So it wouldn't go retail loyal. I mean, obviously I follow party pad presentations and I do a lot of one teams or try it events. And so I do it properly to train and duplicate. However, when I'm talking to people, I always offer the business first because, and I always talk about free product, that hundred dollar free product. I talk about the wrap rewards and the keto coffee or keto, what are we calling it? Keto coffee reward. And then the facials. And then I talk about how you can earn hundred dollar bonuses. Think about it. Most people are struggling typic or most people that are struggling typically need. Oh, hold on. Know, Someone is Kimberly. You are sharing your screen. It's probably my girl. It says CEO. I love it. Um, can't exit out of that. But yeah, you know, I'm just really, I love to share that because that was, it really changed and shift my mind. Um, and then what do you have to lose if you want to become a distributor? You have nothing to lose. You're able to buy at cost. You are able to write off your kit. You're able to write off that cell phone bill. If you even quit after a month, your website, um, you know, these are all things that are to me, in order to, the ability to open a franchise and work it when you want, how you want, where you want, um, and you don't have a boss telling you when you need to clock in, even if you, you know, recruit one, two people a month, that is um, a no brainer to me. You have nothing to lose, especially for those of you that are on here when we still have the $20 kit. They are getting so much free product. I think it's genius what corporate's done because one, they're get, making people, I used to work on that, Amber, I'll just keep talking if you're cool with it. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, we are able to, um, get people on our products and we all know the products work if we consume them, we take them consistently. And so even if they do nothing, we might've just gotten a lifelong customer, um, because they are buying products at cost as a distributor. I love that you guys. So, um, that's going to lead me into, um, can you guys still see me or I don't even know how this screen is working because Kimberly CEO, you are trying to view your screen. And so if you could take that off, that would be awesome. I don't know. You know what? It says, let's share my screen and then we'll just, that'll kick her off and then we'll undo it. I love it. There we go. Nope. anybody knows Kim CEO, if you could unscrew your screen, not that it's a big deal. It's just white, but, um, okay. So leading to that, you guys, um, nope, I don't want that. um, going into, you know, being able to post about when you guys sign up your distributors and you get those fast starts, that is something that you guys can share on social media. That is a way to build a relationship. That is a way that, I can say every Friday for the last 27 weeks, I've gotten a $99 bonus. Can you believe it? I joined for a hundred dollars, let alone a hundred dollar bonus every single week or, Oh my gosh, this is the first bonus that I've gotten this month. Like you don't have to have 
you know, this extreme, you just have to have something and your story is not going to start until you begin. And, and your market isn't going to see where you're going, where you're at, where, where you want to be, unless you just start and start being excited about those $100 bonuses. So something else to consider um, as you guys are talking to people is what they want, right? We have a, an amazing opportunity to share a need and a, a desire for something that they want. And so what is their want? right? And that comes with asking questions via social media. Um, there's something, this is something that I've been doing you guys, and I want you guys to all try it on. So listen carefully. Um, we all love host to post, right? It, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. But are you doing host to post for the opportunity as well? This can be huge for you guys. And especially with the promo, promo codes right now, um, there's so many out there. We want everybody using them and, and really, um, utilizing them as well. And so this is something that I want you guys to try on and I'm excited to share it with you because I feel like Zooms are great, but let's leave with content, right? So as you guys know, we have a picture and if you guys haven't seen it, go to your sponsor, go to your upline. Please don't message Genesis and I for this picture. You can Google it, but there is a picture that um, has the four kits or guess what? Create your own, right? That's the best option for it. But there's the four kits right now that you guys can choose and have. And so what if you sent out a voice memo to people you genuinely care about and genuinely respect their opinions? Okay. This is like not just anyone and everyone, but I'm going to go and I'm going to go say, Hey Kim, um, I have a huge favor to ask. Right now we're offering $20 on these four kits that I'm gonna send you. Can you just tell me which one would catch your eye that you would like to try if you were to buy one? I'm just curious, which one would you like to buy if, if you were? You guys, what this is gonna do is open up that opportunity for them to say, you know what, I've never even checked out any of your products. Oh my gosh, let me tell you about them. What else this is gonna do is that for you to say, you know what, I've actually, they're going to say, I've seen those collagen results everywhere. I want them. Or, oh, I already use a collagen, but I'd love to try yours. Um, this is going to open it up and for the people to say, you know what, I've seen that keto coffee. I've seen my friend results. I'm in. And this is going to be a huge opportunity for you guys. And you guys, worst case, they give you their feedback and they say no. Fine. But what if you sent that, again, private message goes a long way, but it must be genuine. Okay. Like, it's got to be real. It's got to be you. Um, and so again, just don't go through anybody. I would say maybe just send that to like five people tonight and see what they say. Because if I'm not asking for feedback or opinion, I'm never going to understand that my, my market has a want and a need that I can fix and that I have. And so um, don't be afraid to offer the opportunities to people who seem successful on social media because chances are they're really, they know how to spend their money overly. <laughs> okay. Um, that's, that's the truth, but also don't be afraid of people. You know, if you're like, Oh, she just lost her job. She won't do the business. Maybe that's exactly why she wants to do this business. And so be aware of what they've been posting. I always have like a two, two or three click rule. Um, when I'm engaging with people on social media to get them to prepare them for the business opportunity, but it's two clicks in. Look at the last couple profile pictures. That's click number one is their profile pictures, okay? Like how active are they? Um, and then two scrolls, one, two on their profile and then read up and down. Like catch up on what's the latest because the, nothing's worse than being like, hey, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited for you to join my business. I know we've talked about it before. It's, it's you know, it's the promo right now. Um, and all of a sudden their cat just died yesterday. Like rude, right? So, um, be genuine and authentic and do keep that two click mind, uh, rule in, in mind as you guys are building those authentic relationships. You guys, it will go so far and, and way smoother. And I feel like you're not going to be hit as hard with the nose when you are genuinely you and, and, and really like, you know, don't tell someone they got cute kids and they got no kids, right? You know, look for what you want and, and what they need and then pay attention to that. I, I love when people post, um, you know, is anyone hiring? I'll straight up voice memo like, hey girl, how much money do you want? I have spots on my team. I've been doing this for six years. And you guys, so what? No one really cares that I've been doing this six years. So you can say, you know, let's say Abigail started six days ago. Hey Megan, I saw your post on social media that you are looking for a job. Are you looking for full-time, part-time or on your own time? 
it doesn't matter what she's going to say back to me. No, because she can do this full-time, part-time or on her own time. And so that's an opportunity for you guys to really make that genuine connection or, Hey Megan, I was just wondering, what did you do before for work? Get to know them as a person. Okay. Awesome. You were in customer service. Well, I'm actually looking for a few people to do what I do via social media is income something that can help you genuine. You guys like genuine, authentic. I really want to help Megan be financially stable, right? So <clears throat> building those relationships ow, um, on social media and, um, and not being afraid, you guys, to again, post the past, the present, and the future. Find something that's relatable, that's relevant. Um, it's, it's very important. So, so making sure to do that. And then, um, Genesis, what is, the, what is your favorite way? And then we've got a couple little more off-the-topic questions that we're going to jump in and help you guys. And if you guys have a really solid question, drop in the chat. We will not get to all of them, but I'm going to pick and choose a couple that we want to want to chat about. So if you have a question for us, drop it that wasn't talked about maybe, and, and we may address it later on in a different Zoom, but drop them in the chat if we can do anything or if you guys have questions for us. Um, but what is, what is one thing that you would recommend to a brand new distributor today to, to really set up that, that social media for success? I really think that you need to use the products first of all, because you need to know um, in, in a lot of us, when we start, including myself, couldn't afford everything. You can have one product that you use every single day, or you have even used once, maybe the wrap or the keto coffee for a few days. And that can be your testimonial. People will know if you understand that product, do not feel like you need to know every single product as a new distributor because you aren't going to. And when you do need help, when someone asks you a question, all of the resources are there and it's amazing what the company, whether they are somebody that wants to go research themselves on your website, most people probably won't cool, awesome pictures that the it works global page is going to help you that you can inbox to them. You can look in your e-suite under documents to have information on that. Um, but what I feel is most important for a new distributor is figuring out those, you know, talking to people. So not just blowing up your social media. I started, uh, you know, this new business. Now I'm going to change your life. I'm going to make you a million dollars. This, you know, that's going to be overwhelming for someone. What I did, because you guys don't know this, but many of my girls on the zoom, I would have puked before a zoom like this. I threw up before one teams. I was pushed into it. I'm grateful now because I'll get up in front of, you know, whatever, because it's what my passion is. I love it being a rap girl. Um, but I was so scared. So if I tell one of my new distributors, that's just like me secretly and hasn't shared it with me because I definitely did not share it with my upline. Um, that's going to give me some fear. But what my upline did do amazing was she said, reach out to the people that love you, your mom, dad, sister, cousin, brothers, neighbors, practice on them, talk to them, say, I just signed up. I'm super nervous. I need someone to listen to me with my business spiel that loves me, or I need someone to give me a genuine, honest testimonial with the products, or I want an accountability friend to do these products with me. I'm nervous. That's, that's my truth. And so that's where I start. If somebody is so awesome, gung ho has built a network marketing business, like the lady I signed tonight and my son's basketball game for 11 years, I'm going to approach it completely different. I'm going to start talking to her about just putting it out there, sharing her story, sharing how different this company is, how long we've been around. So you just really, again, it's that relationship thing, figuring out that person, that distributor, their personality, and then taking them through the journey. Because if you come at them like um, who I am today and say, this is what you need to do. Genesis does four posts a day. They work full time. They have four kids, an unsupportive husband. They're probably going to fail. If you meet them where they're at and you just kind of help develop them where, you know, so that they aren't so overwhelmed, you're most likely going to create an ambassador eight years later that's willing to speak an hour before she knows she's supposed to be on a Zoom. <laughs> no. And you know what? That that's the professional. And that's what you said. You're like, we're we're vets. Like this is our life. And and you know, it's crazy because I've I've started to uh, really shift my morning routine. And I told people, you know, our team this year has as one, um, we have chosen as a as a team to be um a morning people and opening our businesses earlier, but also being ready, you know, being ready on the fly that if Mark Pentecost called any one of you guys right now and says, Hey, you know, hey Camry. I got to talk to you. Are you available? I want you on a zoom right now. Would you be like, Oh my gosh, I'm not even ready for the day. Or would you be like, you know what? Cake done. I'm in. Right. And so, um, that is again, going to take practice, but it, it starts with your morning routine. Okay. I have a couple of questions, Genesis. I'm excited to dive into these because I know, and we just got a couple minutes because then we've got the Sunday night call and I want you guys all to be on that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to address this and then I want you to as well. How do you get over discouragement of a friend joining someone else's team that was scheduled to join your team that day? This happened to me. Guess what, you guys? It's happened to all of us. And, and here's the thing. At first, I was like, what's wrong with me? Why did they choose Camry's team? Why did they choose Megan's team? Why did they choose so-and-so's team? Like, what was wrong with me, right? And the minute that I got away, you guys, it's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes I've found that your friends want to go with someone who may be local or somebody else um, or somebody that they don't have a connection with. That way, if they do fail, they don't feel like they let you down. And that's usually the return on me. Now, ask for feedback. That's what I would highly recommend. Was it something that, hey, I'm just looking for feedback. You know, what made you choose this person versus me? I, I love feedback, but ultimately, you guys, this company is our business and we just want all the tides to rise. And so um, don't let it sting you. Don't let it, you know, hurt you too bad because there's plenty of people out there. There is. Personally, it fuels me. Mm -hmm. It makes me work a little harder. And then um, I like to plan a wrap party to um, find new people. Cause that's oh. what, you, you know, that fire is wrapping people, getting coffee on them. Um, and just, I love asking because I've asked too, because you know, the biggest thing is like, we're always developing and learning and, um, sometimes it's nothing personal. Maybe they were a loyal customer of theirs before you. Okay. I love this tree. So I'm about five to six host to post and I got nothing advice. Yes. It's a number game. Do 50. You'll get someone. It's definitely a numbers game. Um, best advice on sealing the deal. Study system sales and marketing, you guys. Um, study the fact that people are giving you the clothes like plenty of times throughout your conversations. There's screenshots that I get from my team and I'm like, you could have closed them four sentences ago. They said, okay, yeah, sounds good. Perfect, what's your email address and home address? Like, awesome, no, and, and don't ask them like any more questions. What else do you wanna know? Because if they wanted to, they would ask you. So look for the, the soft closes and then study every day like how to close people. There's books, there's YouTube, there's plenty of that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to look for some of the other ones. Do you have anything you want to add to that? Genesis, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think especially with the $20 deal guys, um, it's all our verbiage. So just letting them know I have a couple codes left. It ends on the 28th. We have a short month. A lot of us forget that I'm super busy this week. I already have my appointment set. Are you ready to go? And that's honest. We are busy. We have jobs, we have kids. And so when you have those nooks and crannies, I would definitely just ask the question because what is going to happen? And I've been doing this almost nine years is when the deal's over, they're going to be like, why didn't you message me again? Or why did you ask? Or why didn't you tell me that I could have gotten this or this package deal or whatever you, however you want to go about it is very crucial. Ask. I love that. Okay. This one's awesome too. I've got five distributors recently. Two have already told me that they kind of don't really want to do anything with it. What's the best way to go about that? I feel like they're just feel overwhelmed. They probably are. You know, especially if you're the kind of person that's like, here's step one, here's step two, here's step three, here's step four, all in one day. You know, again, just like Genesis talked, like you got to find out how they want to go about this. And so something that I love to do is like asking, we ask our kids two questions at a time. Ask your distributors the same thing. Do you want text or call? Do you want Facebook or Instagram? Let them choose you guys. Like don't again, make them jump in your way. Find out the way that they prefer. Okay. So the, for instance, we want to get your four customers. Would you rather text someone or call someone? Uh, if you say you got to text and you got to call and you got to post and you got to do a poll, I'm out, man. Like too much, too soon. Uh-uh. Right? So um, chances are they are. I always take everything with a grain of salt, especially in the first year. And I didn't say 30 days. I said the first year. Because life happens and they do. They compare. So take it with a grain of salt. Go with what they want. Say no problem. You know, you still get wholesale costs. You can order whatever you want. And, um, and I'm, I'll work hard with you to get that. At least your, your four customers, you know, enjoy that shopping spree and then we can decide. So take it with a grain of salt. Anything you want to add to that, Genesis? People will come in the perfect timing. Like, I mean, my first ambassador didn't try a wrap for five months. Um, my best friend in the business, um, she went slow and steady, but now she is like, knows more than anybody on my team because she ran a very successful business and didn't necessarily, this wasn't her first stream of income. And so it didn't make, doesn't mean she didn't make it. She did. It just wasn't as fast as some people that are able, that are stay at home moms. So like Amber said, just definitely meet with people where they're at, because I'm telling you, if you, if you go too hard, you could lose somebody so incredible on your team. Just remember, you don't know what's going on at home and in their life jobs, kids. 
Well, and everyone's different to you guys. Our goal is the steps to success every single month. That's four customers and three distributors. That's one customer a week and one distributor every week and a half. Okay. So like, I'm not saying like, take it slow, but you have to go with how they feel comfortable. Even though I signed up with somebody and I see their potential is like crazy epic. They got to communicate with me and I set that bar. So, so keep asking and, and it's okay. And, and, and don't overdo it or go like, okay, well, I host well, I want a new story. We want this, we want this, we want to make phone calls. Like sometimes too much is too much, right? Less is more. Um, okay. So what do you say if somebody messages you and asks why you messaged sent me a friend request? There's no mutual friends. I probably wouldn't add people who don't have any mutual friends. That's like my first tip for you. I probably wouldn't. Um, you're going to get blocked that way. But, um, for me, if I get like a, a lead or somebody says, Hey, you know, Elena Jackson, she wants some information. I'll search Elena Jackson. I don't know who it is. So I add them. And so I'll tell Elena, if she messages me that I got somebody interested in my products, was that you? Yes or no. Right. So that's again, genuine for me, but, um, so like I have had somebody, I was trying to surround myself with other business women because you are who you surround yourself with. And I am looking to be around like-minded people that said the same thing. And that's exactly what I said. I was honest. She was in another company. I just genuinely loved how she marketed because I'm trying to evolve myself that way. Okay. And she loved that I complimented her on that. And she was really cool about it. And I was like, I love surrounding myself with other successful women. I love your posts. I looked at your wall um, and we're very similar. And she added me instantly. And it was just that so I haven't fun. gone any further yet. Yeah. But that's yeah. Where Build that relationship. Awesome. You guys. Well, I wanted to say if you guys learned anything about tonight, tag myself, tag Cammy, tag Mark, Pam, Genesis, and you guys, this is Genesis Boyd ambassador diamond. She is amazing. Thank you so much for jumping on last minute. We will definitely get Carolyn, um, rescheduled, but I wanted to give you guys content tonight. If you guys could tag us on social media, what you loved, what you like, and what you learned. We will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for jumping on and I will get the recorded up and posted in the pages as well. Genesis, thank you again so, so, so much. Thank you all for jumping on. Let's jump on the family call with Mark and Pam, Mike and Cammie. See you guys.